皆さん、こんにちは。ニーサチャンネル、資格ハンター編です。最新の英語ニュースを読み上げますので、英語の試験勉強やスキルアップにご活用ください。Ukraine launches counteroffensive as Russians leave key eastern city. May 14th, 2022, 5.47pm. VOA News. A couple brings their luggage out of their destroyed house in the village of Vilkivka, near the eastern city of Kharkiv, on May 14, 2022. Dozens of houses in Vilkivka, a village of about 2,000 inhabitants, were gutted by shells, explosions, or fires. Ukrainian In forces began a counteroffensive Saturday near the Russian controlled town of Izium in northeastern Ukraine, a regional governor said. Ukraine wants to push Russia from its staging area there and prevent it from encircling thousands of Ukrainian troops on the eastern front of the Donbass. The Russians turned their focus on the Donbass after they failed to capture Ukraine's capital, Kiev, at the start of the war. But Ukraine has clawed back some of its territory there, including its second largest city in the northeast, Kharkiv. Ukraine appears to have won the Battle of Kharkiv, the Institute for the Study of War, a Washington based think tank, said. Ukrainian forces prevented Russian troops from encircling, let alone seizing Kharkiv, and then expelled them from around the city, as they did to Russian forces attempting to seize Kiev. Smoke rises from what appears to be a makeshift bridge across the Seversky Donets River, eastern Ukraine, in this handout image uploaded May 12, 2022. Ukrainian Airborne Forces Command slash via Reuters. Fighting was also fierce on the Seversky Donets River near the city of Severodonetsk. The governor of the eastern Luhansk region, Suri Gaidai, Said Ukrainian forces repulsed Russian attempts to cross the river and encircle the city. However, Ola Zhidanov, an independent Ukrainian military analyst, said Ukraine failed to stop Russia's advance. There's heavy fighting on the border with Donetsk region, from the side of Papasna, Gaidai also said, reporting heavy losses of equipment and personnel by the Russians. While Russian troops have taken some villages and towns in the Donbass, Ukraine's forces have retaken others, with neither seeming to make much progress. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrives for a meeting of NATO foreign ministers in Berlin, May 14, 2022, amid the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Expanding NATO Russian President Vladimir Putin told his Finnish counterpart Saturday that it would be a mistake for Finland to join NATO, according to a statement from the Kremlin. The two leaders spoke by phone Saturday in a call initiated by Finland. The conversation was direct and straightforward, and it was conducted without aggravations. Avoiding tensions was considered important, Ninista was quoted as saying in a statement by his office. A Kremlin statement released after the call said Putin told Ninista that abandoning Finland's policy of neutrality would have a negative impact on Russian Finnish relations. NATO Finland Sweden Explainer Ninista and Finnish Prime Minister Sanna Marin said Thursday that they want the country to join NATO without delay, a move that would be a major policy shift for the traditionally neutral country in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Putin stressed that the end of the traditional policy of military neutrality would be a mistake since there is no threat to Finland's security, the Kremlin statement said. Russia cut off electricity to Finland in apparent retaliation for its bid to join NATO. Finland gets 10% of its energy from Russia, and the void is now being filled by Sweden. Sweden, another traditionally neutral Scandinavian country, Is also expected to ask to join NATO in the coming days. Turkey initially expressed concerns about Finland and Sweden joining the Security Alliance, but Saturday said it isn't closing the door on the possibility. Any NATO enlargement requires the unanimous consent of the existing members. 
The United States has said it will support a NATO application by Finland or Sweden should they choose to apply. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, center-right, poses for a photo with U.S. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, center-left, who led a delegation of Republican senators to Ukraine, in Kiev, May 14, 2022. U.S. Senators Visit U.S. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell led a delegation of Republican senators on a visit to Ukraine on Saturday. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the visit was a powerful signal of bipartisan American support for Ukraine, according to the Ukrainian presidential administration. Zelensky urged the American lawmakers to recognize Russia as a state sponsor of terrorism, according to the Kiev Independent, an English-language newspaper in Ukraine, and to impose stronger sanctions on Russia. Meanwhile, the group of seven industrialized nations meeting in Germany vowed to put more pressure on Russia with fresh sanctions and said it would never recognize the borders the Kremlin is attempting to redraw through force. Direct Link Impact of NATO Expansion the German Marshall Fund's Michael Kimmage told VOA that Finland's joining NATO would shake up the security order in Europe, both for NATO and for Russia. It's a very, very long border, and of course it brings NATO very close to, or will bring NATO if it all goes through, very close to St. Petersburg. And at the same time, it will give NATO a lot more territory right on the Russian border to defend. So those are big steps. Those are big changes, Kimmage said. Russia has warned against NATO expansion and said Finland's and Sweden's joining would bring serious military and political consequences. The expansion of NATO and the approach of the alliance to our borders does not make the world and our continent more stable and secure, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters Thursday. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin spoke by phone with his Russian counterpart, Sergei Shoigu, for the first time since February 18. Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby said in a statement that Austin urged an immediate ceasefire in Ukraine and emphasized the importance of maintaining lines of communication. Some information for this story came from the Associated Press, agents France Presa, and Reuters. 以上で今回のミーサチャンネルは終了です。最後までご視聴いただきましてありがとうございました。よろしければ高評価とチャンネル登録をよろしくお願いします。